We're here to talk about mental health, what it is, how it relates to your developing brain, and what you can do to stay healthy. Mental health includes your emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects the way you think, feel, and act, as well as how you handle stress and relate to others. Managing your mental health can help you stay physically healthy, overcome obstacles, and make smart decisions, like saying no to underage drinking and underage marijuana use. The various parts of your developing brain play crucial roles that impact different elements of your mental health. For example, during stressful situations, your mental well-being is heavily influenced by your brain's limbic system, which helps regulate emotions through the interaction of different parts of your brain, like your hypothalamus, which controls your body's response to stress, your hippocampus, which manages memories, and your amygdala, which preps your body for flight or fight responses during intense moments. These different parts of the brain work together to help you calm down, take appropriate action, and protect yourself in difficult situations. But while your body's response to stress can be helpful in some cases, too much or prolonged stress can hurt both your mental and physical well-being. These feelings of stress and sadness are normal and can happen to anyone from time to time. So it's important to learn and practice effective ways to manage stress, especially for younger developing brains, which may respond differently than adult brains. Healthy ways to cope with stress include being physically active, talking with caring friends or adults, doing activities you enjoy, keeping a healthy sleep schedule, and focusing on positive things like your strengths. And if needed, you can always ask for help from a counselor, mental health professional, or other trusted adult. But some ways of coping with stress are unhealthy and can lead to bigger problems later, like avoiding the problem, keeping things to yourself, over or under eating, sleeping too much or too little, taking action that could harm yourself or others, and engaging in underage drinking or underage marijuana use. And remember, underage alcohol and marijuana use is illegal and can have a more harmful effect on a young person's mental health than an adult's. As a central nervous system depressant, alcohol slows your brain and body functions, which might make you temporarily feel less anxious or stressed. But instead of solving the problem, it makes your brain less capable of helping itself when it needs to. Relying on alcohol to mask or cope with your feelings can lead to alcohol dependence, making it harder to use other strategies that would be more helpful in the long run. And because marijuana interferes with the functioning of the endocannabinoid system, the brain has a harder time doing things like storing memories, staying organized, and coping with stress. Plus, it can cause some people to experience fear, anxiety, and paranoia. The bottom line, underage alcohol and marijuana use is not only illegal, it can actually increase your stress and trigger other mental health problems. Learning the facts can help you make healthy decisions. So say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage drinking and underage marijuana use. To learn more, visit asklistenlearn.org. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health concerns or substance abuse, please reach out to a trusted adult, school counselor, or mental health professional. Or call or text the 988 Lifeline or the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration Helpline at 1-800-662-4357 to talk to someone and get additional support anytime, day or night. Help is out there. They are there to listen, provide free and confidential support, and help you be okay.